AMD, they're great and all, but they're also great at making things confusing. And this time around, they done that by splitting up the high-end chipset into two different variants, X670E and X670. And you're gonna have to buy a motherboard with one of these chipsets if you want to enjoy the upcoming Ryzen 7000 CPUs. And judging from what we know so far, they are going to be amazing. But which chipset is truly better, and which one will you, the savvy consumer, want to get? For that's kind of a complicated question, seeing how, of course, the biggest thing that will separate these two is pricing. With X670 being the more mid to high end choice, while X670E being the top of the top, seeing how the E stands for extreme. These extreme motherboards are going to have insane overclocking potential, not to mention the most features and also probably the most insane of all, all 24 PCIe lanes will be PCIe Gen 5. That's right, PCIe Gen 5 on every single slot. That is overkill for 99% of people, but hey, it's something to brag about, I guess. Compare that to X670, where you're only getting two different PCIe Gen 5 slots, one for the graphics card and one for an NVMe storage drive. Though, to be fair, that's still going to be known for most people, especially seeing how all the other slots are going to be PCIe Gen 4. But seeing how PCIe Gen 4 has only been around for a couple of years, many people may not even need that either, seeing how many people may still be running PCIe Gen 3 drives and graphics cards. X670 will still have overclocking capabilities, though apparently not as much as X670e, and while we don't know much else about what X670e and X670 motherboards are going to differ in, the decrease in price over X670e should make it worth it for most, and the decrease in price may be more important than you at first thought, seeing how neither X670 nor X670e are going to support DDR4 at all, so you're going to have to pay extra for more expensive DDR5 RAM modules. So this transition to a new platform is going to be kind of expensive regardless, even if you go for a more budget motherboard. But let me know which chipset motherboard you're going to be picking up when Ryzen 7000 launches this autumn. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help ensure that I can make more videos about X670, X670e and all things Ryzen 7000, the best way to do that is to support us on Patreon. Because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Orr, Craft Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down here, you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.